three years ago, I set out to construct the most powerful nootropic stack for focus, motivation, and sheer cognitive horsepower. I logged hundreds of hours, sampled endless amounts of cognitive performance chemicals, and ran beta tests with soldiers from the United States Army. And after massive experimentation and ruthless trial and error, my work had finally paid off. I found what I was looking for. Now, the reviews are mounting on, on the Cortex and Live Cortex website. Uh, the reviews are mounting on our videos here of, of, of subscribers that have tried the product and love the product. So, the pro so now the product is really starting to speak for itself. If you want to experience mental dominance, I mean, this is the stack. This is the stack. I, I built it like that. I'm a very aggressive guy when it comes to business. I'm a combat vet. I'm just an aggressive guy in life. You know, I'm a good, cool, considerate, respectable guy. Right, I'm sort of a paradox a bit, but I'm, but I'm aggressive in what I want to achieve and what I want to do. And I'm aggressive in needing good brain performance. So I built a stack for aggressive achievement-oriented people, type A personalities, entrepreneurs, corporate people, nootropics experimenters that are into nootropics and want to get better brain performance, college kids. I built a nootropic essentially for everybody to dominate in the realm of mental performance. If we sound like we're being hyperbolic, you have to try the product and you're gonna go, wow, you're underselling the product. You're, you're underselling it. That's what people tell me all the time. They're like, my verbal fluency is the best it's been in 10 years. My focus, I just sat down and did work for five hours. I've never done that before. I got a whole lot done. I have a new direction in my life. You know, Now I'm gonna focus on that promotion. It's a big deal. You know why? Because a better functioning brain is a better functioning human, which results in better functioning output. You know, productivity. So secure a bottle of the Cortex stack at livecortex.com. Pure mental dominance, intellectual prowess, expert verbal fluency, incredible focus. These kind of things you can expect from the Cortex stack combining uridine, very powerful nootropic, and CDP coin. Together they are nothing short of a miracle. Pretty awesome stuff. Livecortex.com. If you're waiting to buy the stack, don't wait. Just grab a bottle. Grab a bottle. Email me at ryan at livecortex.com and I'll give you a coupon code to try it. Email me. Let's get you going on Cortex, livecortex.com. Okay, somebody recently asked me what, what is my morning routine and can I do a video about it? So hats off to you, sir or ma'am. Great question. And here it basically is. I'm going to actually do the entire day routine as it relates to nootropics and as it relates to brain function and as it relates to optimizing brain function. I wake up at anywhere between 8 and 10 in the morning. And this all depends on when I went to bed and if I got good sleep. If my sleep was interrupted for one reason or the other, I'll sleep till 10. If I didn't get to bed till late, I'll sleep till 10. If I got to bed at midnight and I slept soundly through the night, I'll wake up at 8. Uh, right away when I wake up, I do not take nootropics. You know, we talked about this in another video. I get my gear on and I go run. I either do a sprint, high intensity, high intensity sprints. I'll do 10 to 12 sprints. 100 meter sprints at roughly 550 pace per mile. It, it equals about 0.75 miles, just short of a mile altogether, but they're high intensity sprints. You're burning a lot of fat, you're activating, you're probably activating uh, beta hydroxybutyrate and inducing ketones and thus inducing brain derived neurotrophic factor. And it gets the heart rate raised pretty quickly. It's actually pretty profound. High intensity interval training and the studies around that uh, show that it is much more efficient than going on like a two or three or four or five mile run. On days where my thighs hurt too much, because they do from sprinting, I'll do the two mile run. You know, 1.5, 1.6 to two mile run. I really don't like to do three, four, five, six, seven, ten 10 miles like I used to in the army and thereafter. It's just not worth it to me. I'm trying to be most efficient with my, get the most bang for my buck. So I'll do a 1.5 to two, maybe three, or three mile max uh, at mm, somewhere between eight and 9.50 pace per mile, depending on a variety of things that are going on. Uh, after that, I come back home, uh, I take a quick shower, I, I, I blend into a puree, a half a grapefruit and a half a lemon for liver functionality, vitamin C, glutathione, and a few other things. I might eat a bowl of, uh, like a, a bowl of some good uh, vitamin rich, uh, good fiber rich, good nutrient rich cereal, something like Special K or something with berries. That's like what my go-to has been lately. Then I go get coffee, then I'm, then I'm, then I'm going to sit down and work. So I'll drink a cup of coffee, and then if I'm going to take nootropics for that day, this is when I'll take them. So if we're going to, you know, it'll be right around 11-something at that time. If we're going to do modafinil, 
we'll do modafinil, you know, 30 to 80 milligrams, depending on whether we're talking about arm modafinil or regular modafinil or, or whether I've slept really well and I just want a low dose modafinil for the day. And then we'll go from there. Modafinil, we're probably looking at three, four times a month with modafinil. I don't really like to take modafinil every day. I just think I'd rather optimize my brain in other ways. Um, some days, you know, it, we, like we talked about in a, in a, in a recent video, it'll be vinpocetine. Uh, good amount of days it'll be the cortex nootropic stack because that thing is just like you don't need anything else you just take the cortex stack have some coffee and you're off like just put some headphones on top we're going to leave you alone because you're going to get like nine hours of work done so it's the cortex stack on some days um, you know I like the uh, the alpha GPC alcar caffeine theanine stack right I like to give as much value as I can here uh, 300 milligrams al alcar 75 milligrams alpha GPC uh, 120 milligrams caffeine, 200 milligrams L-theanine. Try it, you're gonna thank me. Um, and, a, and a myriad of other stacks. If I'm low dosing, micro dosing aniracetam frequently throughout the day, I'll do 100 milligrams aniracetam right away with coffee, pretty awesome. Then 150 an hour later, 152 hours later, 100 an hour later, and I'll stop at 3 or 4 p.m. or something and have totaled about 500, 600 milligrams of aniracetam and micro dosing throughout the day and I'll stop there. Um, and then on and on and on, 700 milligrams of oxyuracetam individually. All these I'm basically doing individually. So that's it, then I get to work. I work, laptop work, cerebral work, filming videos uh, until just about 4 p.m. Uh, I'm just straight work until till 4 p.m. Um, I might take a half hour and leave to go ship Cortex. And then I'll come back and I'm, and I'm back on the work laptop, doing work, laptop work, uh, dealing with uh, uh, pay-per-click, Google Analytics, these sorts of things, analytics, search engine optimization, just, just building the Cortex brand, building the Cortex uh, company, the Cortex Labs, Labs company. Um, thereafter, uh, at right about 4, 4.20, I might have to go ship Cortex again if more orders came through, so I'll do that. And then I go and have a beer, a single beer, because two is too much for brain performance if I want to be productive later in the day. And I'd rather just stick to one beer a day, frankly. I mean, I do drink a beer a day. And it's normally like a good solid wheat beer. I like wheat beers, you know, and or Guinness Extra Stout. Canadian beers I can do all day. I hate IPAs. Hate them with a passion. Hate them. Can't stand it. I don't know how people like IPAs. So I'll have a beer at my friend's bar. It's an Italian bar, Italian restaurant slash bar. A beer and some wings, some tangy barbecue wings or something, AP swings with some blue cheese. Uh, after that, I'll come back home and I take about a half an hour. This is when I've been meditating lately rather than in the morning to meditate. I meditate for about a half an hour and sometimes 40 minutes because sometimes it takes the whole half hour just to get into that state. Once you get into that clear state, whoo, then you want to try to stay there for a little bit. So that's where you really get the cognitive optimization, the prefrontal cortex optimization, the left prefrontal cortex optimization for happiness, calming the amygdala, calming the, the parasympathetic nervous system or the sympathetic nervous system rather and you get all of the other additional benefits from meditating, like increased blood flow. Talk about vimpocetine. Um, and then it's back to the laptop and back to working on building my company uh, until just about midnight. At midnight, uh, I do take some nootropics at nighttime, but they're not for cognitive performance. They are for calming the nervous system down and primarily it's L-theanine in about a thousand milligrams. If it isn't, you know, if it, if, you know, for switching and moving things around, it'll be St. John's wort, pretty profound for that. Uh, in some instances, it'll be, ex it'll, it'll either be exclusively 500 milligrams, 5 HTP, or it'll be 500 milligrams, 5 HTP, and 1,000 milligrams theanine. That'll really get, you know, get, gets me in a, in a nice place. Because I'm always very active. I run in the morning, and I'm, I'm, my brain is, I've got a great brain, you know, I mean, I've really optimized it with entropics over time. And so I really need to calm the nervous system down consciously at nighttime to go to sleep. Um, and I think that's, a, you know, that's a very important thing. So, yeah, right at right, right around midnight or so, I'll, I'll take my, you know, effectively nootropic compounds that, that work on calming the nervous system, increasing uh, GABA functionality, increasing alpha brain waves. That's something theanine does. And then, um, you know, and, and maybe I'll alternate between that and something like go to cola uh, and every now and then some valerian root. Valerian root's borderline, uh, in the high doses like tranquilizer-esque, so I don't really like to fuss with it in high doses, but it is very, very calming in the regular dose. It's very, very, valerian root, very awesome. And that's it, between midnight and 12.30 or 12.45, or if I get done a little earlier between 11.30 and 12.30, I'm doing heavy, heavy research either on neuroscience or disease states 
and or otherwise physiology. That's what I'm doing. And that's it. So to sum it up, you know, I wake up, go on a run, eat, have coffee, uh, take a nootropic if I'm going to do a nootropic that day. Sometimes I cycle off, you know, for weeks at a time. Work till about four. Ship Cortex in the meantime. Go have a beer and wings at my friend's bar. Uh, go back, meditate. Work till about midnight. Take some theanine or some nootropics to calm the nervous system down. And then do about 45 minutes of research. And I'm out. That is my routine.